Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. Hi there, and welcome to the Zoloft. Okay, Roy Moore lost. That sucks. Red state's going blue. That's a shame. I keep warning red staters who pridefully tell me that I need to leave my screwed up state for their solid state. And I'm like, the infection of liberalism is gonna spread in your state too. Your state will turn blue. Yeah, I'm disgusted with California. It sucks being a conservative Republican here. It's becoming like that everywhere. I keep telling y'all who keeps saying, who cares what these libtards think and just ignore them. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's why the infection of liberalism is spreading. But here's what's really sad, but not surprising. The majority of blacks voted Democrat in this election. They want Alabama to return to being a Democrat-run state. Alabama, like the other Southern states, have been Democrat-run states far longer than they've ever been Republican states. All the institutionalized bigotry that black folks, particularly Southern black folks, are still so angry about to this very day is when Democrats ran the Southern states. You would think that these black folks who are absolutely obsessed with dwelling and dwelling and dwelling and butthurting over racism would never, never vote Democrat. How the corn is it that these black folks refuse to let go of their anger over racism, but totally overlook the Democrat party who institutionalized it? The party that facilitated white privilege for the white voters they represented. But then along comes the excuse. They lean on this stupid myth that all the racists on the Democrat party switch sides and you believed them. Psh, whatever, dude, I'm more believable than you are. Yeah, it certainly appears that way. You believe that racist Democrats became Republicans and then put an end to institutionalized racism and segregation in the South. Man, how the Fruit Loop does that make sense? When the Democrats ran the South, you had apartheid. When the Republicans won the South, apartheid was defeated. And what did most of these black folks do when the Republican Party removed the Democrat boot from their necks? Rather than enjoying their civil rights that Republicans stood up for, for them, they chose to cling to their anger and blindly believe the accusations of their oppressors. But y'all, many blacks voting for Democrats to rule over them doesn't surprise me. And it's really sad that a lot of these folks take what I'm saying as hatred towards them as they respond to me with hateful epithets that would impress the KKK. But they're all cut from the Democrat cloth. But y'all, I wanna reflect on Exodus. The sons of Israel were crying out to God because of the oppression they were subjected to in Egypt. God heard them and Moses was commissioned to go negotiate their release. This ticked Pharaoh off. And it wasn't like Moses and Aaron weren't trying to be diplomatic. Pharaoh was already meaner than a two-headed cobra, so he ramped up the oppression. It's like black folks who were crying out because of the oppression. Republicans came in and said, Democrats, let them go. Democrats got so mad at Republicans for taking their control over black folks away from them that Democrats formed the KKK. The terrorism of Democrats was getting pretty nasty. Black folks were being faced with more of that burning hatred from Democrats. Black folks could clearly see who the party of oppression was. Pharaoh was pouring out his hatred for the Israelites and they could clearly see who their oppressor was. The Democrats wanted to hate blacks and wanted to oppress them. Pharaoh wanted to hate the Israelites and wanted to oppress them. This was his chosen desire. Looking at what Pharaoh wanted, God gave him over to his desire. He hardened Pharaoh's heart even more than it already was. Why in tarnation would God do that? Why would God make this man more hardened? Because God wanted the Israelites to be absolutely certain that they wanted to be free and that they knew who they wanted to be free from. Do you catch yourself asking sometimes, hey, Democrat voting black folks, are you sure you want to be free? Because y'all sure do seem to like to vote to be on the plantation with the party that fought for the so-called right to enslave you. Now, after God had allowed Pharaoh to oppress the Israelites long enough for them to be really extra motivated to leave the rule of Pharaoh and the oppressive state of Egypt. But wait a minute, now that I think about it, I don't remember them begging for freedom. I remember them begging for the oppression to stop. There's a big difference. Meaning that it's not really freedom that we care about. That stuff's hard. We don't mind if you enslave us as long as you're nice to us and give us security. But y'all, the point is this. 
even after being certain that they wanted to leave the oppression of Egypt. What did they do when they got outside of the oppression of Egypt? They cried to go back to Egypt and be slaves under the rule of Pharaoh. I think there was this pastor in uh, Chicago and he was talking to black folks about them voting for Democrats. He says, y'all know that whole thing about uh, Pharaoh let my people go? He said, you know what? Y'all need to let Pharaoh go. Amen. The majority of blacks have cried to go back under the rule of the Democrat party. They've been clinging to their loyalty to the Democrat party for a long time now. Still angry. Why? Because they're suckered in the boat for the same party that made them angry in the first place. Moses was leading them to liberty from their actual oppressors. And they complained and accused Moses of leading them to their destruction. Republicans led the way for black folks to have liberty from their actual oppressors, the Democrat party. And many black folks complain and accuse Republicans of trying to lead them to their destruction. Sound familiar? Y'all there crying to stay in the matrix. Remember y'all, the matrix was still slavery. The Democrat party has changed. Yeah, they've changed how they enslave you. A long time ago, the Democrat party gave black folks the blue pill, or rather a block of cheese and a can of stiff peanut butter. And they call me a sellout. And I've been saying this stuff to y'all for years. Over 10 years now, oh my goodness, remember I started saying this stuff back in 2007 on MySpace? MySpace! God bless y'all who've been hanging with me since then. A few of y'all who are just now catching wind in my videos, y'all don't know this stuff because, well, my reach has been marginalized. Oh, and for the record, the parallel that I'm drawing with the Israelites is not me trying to attempt to say that blacks were the original Hebrews. Hebrews come from the line of Shem. We come from the line of Cush. Just wanted to clear that up. Y'all, I ain't no kind of insecure about being black where I need to try to hijack somebody else's heritage to boost my self-esteem. Man, how the Fruit Loop does that make sense?